I think before I preach, we're going to say something. Amen. Okay, first of all, we want to thank God for the new Prime Minister. That was expected, yes. but we thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we give another big clap? Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. This man is actually a born again Christian, and uh, he is actually attending the Pentecostal church. So let's pray for him. Yes. I'm not into politics, but it's good yes. to pray. That somebody has come into the office, so we thank God because when a righteous man reigns, something good happens in the nation. Amen. 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 Secondly, tonight, we just uh, had a beautiful news. Bible says, Rejoice with those who rejoice. Our sister Yvette gave birth to a baby girl today. Wow. Yesterday. Yay. Yesterday. Yay. After almost 15 years, Almost 15 years. So I think uh, that's a testimony they will give when they when they come. Hallelujah. But we give God glory because uh, it just goes to show us that uh, God still remembers us. Yeah. We want to rejoice with those who rejoice, and I know that sometimes in life we don't understand why certain things happen. But the good thing is that God has honored this couple. So. When they come, they will tell you the other testimonies. Amen. Come on, lift your say, Father. Speak to my heart. Touch my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, I'm going to briefly share with you, before we pray, uh, the topic I have uh, come up today is, uh, there is an answer in every prayer. There is an answer in every prayer. You know, sometimes, because we are humans, we tend to forget that God answers our prayers. Mm. Some people pray for two minutes or one day or two seconds and they forget. And they begin to wonder, has God had my prayer? And they begin to wonder, has God gone asleep on me? But I want to say to you today, there is an answer in every prayer. God is mighty, he is powerful, he is glorious. The Bible says his name shall be called Wonderful. The mighty God, the counselor, the prince of peace, the everlasting father. People of God, wherever you're coming from today, if you have been praying and asking God to do something in your life and you're getting tired, I'm here to tell you today there is an answer Amen. in every prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to say tonight to you that God Almighty is still doing wonders today. He is still doing miracles. He is still doing signs and wonders. And friends, I don't know where you're coming from, but my joy tonight is that God Almighty is still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible tells us, that's where I'm my test today, Psalm chapter 50 and verse 15. Just one verse I want to read to you. If you find, if you find it, you can open your Bibles here. Psalms chapter 50 and verse 15. This verse of scripture, I have used it over and over and over again. I read it in the morning, in the afternoon, at midnight hour, every time I get that word in my heart. But I love it so much. It is a confirmation that God Almighty, He is still who He is with Hallelujah. And so this morning, I'm going to read now from chapter 50 and verse 15. If you find it, you can please turn your Bibles there. I always like people to go to their Bibles when I'm reading Psalm chapter 50 and verse 15. And the Bible says, And call upon me in the day of your trouble. And call upon me in the day of your trouble. And I will hear you. And thou shalt glorify my name. And I will deliver you. And thou shalt glorify my name. God Almighty said, Call upon me. In the day of your trouble. Call upon me. In the day of your distress. Call upon me. In the day of your adversity. Call upon me. When everybody leaves you alone. Call upon me. When marriage is going upside down. Call upon me. When children are rebellious. Call upon me. When there is no food at home. Call upon me. When heart is broken. Call upon me any moment. And I will deliver you. You know friends. The only one that can say that. Oh city. Is our God. Because there are people, you all know how they are. When you are doing well, they are your friends. They come around you. When everything is going good, they come around you. But the moment trouble comes, oh, there's a police station around the corner. The moment trouble comes, oh, there's a lawyer I know around the corner. The moment trouble comes, oh, you can go to a center. The moment trouble comes, they desert you. But our God said to you tonight, whatever you go through in your life, whatever problem, whatever situation, whatever issue, call upon me. Oh, 
I am excited. Because you know why I'm excited? He didn't stop there. He said, I will deliver you. I will deliver you. You know, friends, all the course of my ministry, I have come across so many things that when I look back now, I say to myself, God, how great you are. How mighty you are. So many people look at you and they don't know where you're coming from. And so they judge you. They look at them, make a story about you. But I want to stand here today and tell you something. So I want to say this to you tonight. That every time I follow God, God has answered my prayer. Amen. God has done this for Hallelujah. Me and my family will stand as a testimony of how good, how great, how mighty God is. Hallelujah. I never forget the day that I was really low in finances. I never forget this day. But I said, I'm going to take my family at that time. That afternoon, we finished church and we all went to this Chinese restaurant. And we're eating four of us, my wife and my two boys, and we're having lunch together. We had lunch and we had all the lunch together. And then at the time finished, I want to pay. The, the, the restaurant man said, no, you don't have to pay. I said, why? He said, that man over there, he has paid for you. I said, what? I don't know this man. I don't even know where this man comes from. The man went to the, to the team and paid everything for me. Hallelujah. I don't even know him. Ha, ha, ha. How good is that? Tell me the possibility of that happening anyway. I don't know him. He's not my brother. He's not my friend. And I have never met him before after that. Friends, that's God. Because they call upon me in the day of trouble. I remember once our car had a problem not too long ago. Our car had a problem. And me and my wife were talking what we were going to do. We didn't know how to fix not too long ago. And I remember somebody came and said, Pastor, I want to bless you. I want to fix all this. I was shocked. And he did it all. What am I saying? God Almighty knows. Yeah. When we call upon him. Friends, please look at me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what you're going through tonight. I don't know your area of troubles or trials. I don't know your area of difficulties. I don't know your area. But I remember when that man came to my house. He said, Pastor, this your car, leave it to me. I am going to fix it. I'm going to do everything. It wasn't a small money. And I'm looking. I didn't know what to say because it's not my usual person that I go to. So I didn't know what to say. This man blessed and fixed everything. And I'm saying to myself, God, I only just ask you, Lord, here I am before you. My brother, my sister, we have given up today in our prayer time. We have given up today asking God. Some of us don't call upon God anymore. Some of us don't even pray anymore. Some of us have forgotten that prayer is the key. Some of us don't know how to wait for God in prayer. Some of us run from A to Z. Some of us run with panic. And it's more than that happen with panic. My brother, my sister, can I say to you, when that child is rebellious, when that husband is having some problem, when that wife is speaking some language that you don't want to hear, when that family is going through some pressure, when there is an oppression in the home, oh, my brother, my sister, yes, the doctors are good. Yes, the lawyers are good. Yes, the government are good. But you are a person that can deliver you is God Almighty. Now that is why when the problems knock at your door, when the issues are raging, when the temptations are knocking, when things are not going well for you, when problems are around you, and when everybody says you can't do it, when everybody says it's not possible, you stand firm and trust in the name of the Lord. The Bible says some will trust in chariots, some will trust in, uh, in, in many, many things, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. I want to dare you this evening to start putting your trust in the Lord, to start putting your complete faith in Him, start trusting Him for your day-to-day -day life. Sometimes, because we have become so accustomed to the ways of life, we have become so accustomed, you know, friend, we have become so accustomed to many, many things we forget and take for granted that our God is so mighty, He is so powerful, He is so glorious, we forget that our God has got a man. The Bible says His name, hallelujah, is a name above every other name. My brother, my sister, I want to say to you tonight, whatever you are going through in your life, whatever temptation, whatever issue right now, it is time to call upon the name of the Lord God Almighty. Yes. Yes. You say, Pastor, but you don't understand. The last time I prayed, nothing happened. Let me tell you something about that. Mm. The last time you prayed, you were hitting one blow. 
The second time you pray, you hit again. The third time you pray, you hit again. And then maybe the fourth time, maybe the fifth time, you pray and there will be victory. That is why we never give up praying. I have seen many people come to me and say, Pastor William, how do you do it? I pray once, I pray twice. I said, continue praying. Pray until something happens. Pray until there's victory. We never look for the world. We never look around us. Friend, I can stand here and I can give you testimonies upon testimonies of the goodness of our God. When they say, when every man says it's not possible, when the woman says it's not possible, when the society says there is nothing good out of you, when people look at you and they look at your stature and they look at where you're coming from, they look at you, you're, you're only a woman, you're only this girl, you're only that person. When they look at you and they say to you, you know where. Don't go away and start crying in your room and shut your door. I say, where is my husband? Where is my wife? Nobody loves me anymore. Go on your knees and call upon your God. Amen. Go on your knees and say to him, your words say, call upon me in the day of my troubles. In the day of my difficulty, in the day of my trial, in the day of my adversity, when things are so bad, when the society don't like you anymore, when everybody give up on you, my God said he will deliver you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God said he will deliver you. Hallelujah. My God said he will deliver you. Tonight, I don't know why you are here. I don't know what you're going through in your own personal life. Tonight, I don't know the enemy that has put a blockade on your life. You know, there are so many people, every attempt they make, they are walking, they are walking, there's an obstacle there. So they walk, and they hit the obstacle, and they go back. They try again, they hit the obstacle, and they go back. And they don't know what to do anymore. They look around themselves, they say, I don't even know what to do anymore. My child is causing me headache. My wife or my husband or, or the society or my wallet is empty. And at that time, they begin to plan how to give up. At that time, they begin to plan what to do to say bye-bye to God. At that time, they begin to look around. Friends, I'm going to tell you something I learned in my 36 years in ministry. I'm going to tell you something I learned all those years. One thing I learned is that when the going gets tougher, you go tougher. Hallelujah. When everything goes difficult, you go stronger. Hallelujah. When the devil knock you, you rise up and you lift up your heart and say, pray in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. When the devil says, I'll kill you, you go back and say, God said, I will lift you up. Oh. Amen. And that's why. That's why. You must remember what this Bible says tonight. Call upon me in the day of your yeah. trouble. He said, I will hear you. I will deliver you. People look at me and they say, oh, and I, 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 I have a testimony about that. The, the pastor came to the village. We're going to have a crusade in, in Ghana. And he said to us, you know, this village is full of wishes and, and witchcraft and then, you know, it's going to rain and, you know, there's no need to continue this crusade. You know, you better go to your hotel and have a sleep and, you know, forget about it now. And I asked him, I said, so you are saying that there are witches and demons, they are coming to the meeting. He said, yes, 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 a lot of them. I said, huh, good, let's go. He said, no, you don't understand me. They will kill us. They will do this to us. They will send rain. Let's go. You know, friends, the, the reality of it all is this. We don't realize there is power in you greater than any demon, any witchcraft, any Satan, no matter who they are. And we went to that crusade. The rain did not come. The people that were witchcraft and witch doctors, one by one, God began to defeat them. And they began to cry and repent. And God was moving their life. Because you know what, friends? Call upon me in the day of your trouble. And God said, I will deliver you. You know what we do? When trouble comes, we cry. We cry. We pick up our note phone, our iPhone, our tablet. Ta, 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 ta. And we are crying on the phone to our unbeliever friends, to the friend that we've known four years ago. And then they will console and say, Don't worry, take it easy. And then we'll come. What happens? You cry, but you have not prayed actually. 
And so what happens is that you've transferred that trouble to that person as well. What happens is that it has not been solved. But God said tonight, call upon me in the day of your trouble. What are you going to do tonight, my brother and my sister? What is your pain tonight? What is your trouble tonight? What is your struggle tonight? What are the things blocking you tonight? What are the things holding you back from achieving God's best in your life? What are the things making you feel worthless? Why are you wake up in the morning and you put your makeup on and you put your nice hat on and in the front of the people you look so nice and you are smiling and Of the Lord. The Bible says, He that calleth upon me, I will answer. The Bible says, Your God is not asleep. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the heat from where coming my head. My head coming from the Lord God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. Psalm 121. If you read from verse 1 to verse 6, he said, He, he, he will not even suffer your foot to be moved. He said, Yes. Yeah. He will not. He that kisses thee. Like the song we sang. 
God has the final say. I said, if we can pray together, if we can join hands together, if we can believe God together, if we can stand upon God's word together, for the Bible tells me, call upon me in the day of your distress, in the day of your trouble, in the day of your adversity, in the day of your pain. God said, I will hear you and I will deliver you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The young man held my hand and we prayed. We prayed. We prayed. We kept praying. We kept praying. He came back after a few, a few months. He said, now, nah, Pastor, the doctor sent many of my reports. They sent it to this country, that country, four countries. He said, they don't know what happened. But there is no trace of that thing in my body. He said, it must be a miracle. And I looked at him and I said, it is a miracle. Because you know what, friend? When we call upon our God, we expect our God to do greater things. You said to me, Pastor William, oh, what are you talking about? I'm going to challenge you today. I'm going to challenge you, my sister. It is time to stand upon the word of the living God. Mm. Why are we dancing up and down, scared? Scared of the devil. Mm. Scared of the bad news. Scared that our family is going to be Scared. If you know what I come to discover, Pastor? I come to discover that many people are lazy in yeah. prayer. They're lazy. Yep. They don't want to spend that time, lose the fun, sacrifice that food, wait upon the Lord, call upon Him, stretch out your hands, repent of your sin, and let God do it for you. Friends, it's more testimony. Every morning I woke up at 5 a.m. to pray, even before. Who does money? And there's a man in my house next door. <laughs> Every morning I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. He up exactly 10 past 5. He goes on his back. Yo, 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 yo. That noise, it, it was so, and it distracts my prayer. I don't like, you know, boo, 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 boo. I didn't like that noise. Every morning. I thought about it for two months, three months. And then he tells me, I said, ah, this one. Mm -mm. He said, Lord, I don't pray for nothing. But I don't want anybody to disturb my prayer time. Lord, please, let that man find another house. You know, you may say, that's, that's, not, that's what I ask God. You know what? My wife and my son, they are here. They can testify to you. When we came back from Africa, the man was gone. He was gone. <laughs> you know, he's gone. And people would say, no. Oh. My son said, oh, he's gone. That, my wife said, yes. Because, friends, one of the things I believe is that you and I, we're going to come out of our Close it. Yeah. Come on, hallelujah. We're going to take a challenge, hallelujah. You go to work and somebody's messing your head up. And, hey! And you're a Christian. You come back home. At work today, hey, Joan. At work today, Jews. Hey. So cry. Your cry will not go nowhere. You go to God and say, God, if you give me this job and you want me here, Lord, open the door. Hey, hallelujah. Nobody said hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I know that. But friends, Jesus said, rise up. Jesus said, if I come, will I find space on the earth? The days we are living in are days we have been radical for Jesus. Mm. Yeah. We're taking it too easy. Yeah. And again, I make it, oh, no worry, no worry. No. Take your command. Take your place in the things of the living God and declare and begin to pray. Begin to speak the word of God. Begin to declare it over your family, over your children. Don't look at your children and say, oh, that one is lost. No. No, they are not lost. You hear me, parents? Your children are not lost. They are God's blessing to you. Yes. Don't look at your children and say, oh, that one. No, 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 no. no. Don't say that about your children. Begin to claim them. Begin to speak the word of God. Say in the name of Jesus, I bring my daughter, I bring my son, and come upon you, Father, help my daughter, help my son, deliver them, and you will see what God will do. Don't just go to sleep and be, what do you call that? What do you call that? Lazy. You know what, friend? It is true what the Bible says. The Bible is very right. Call upon me in the day of your trouble. I will deliver you. It's hard to do. You know what I have come to discover? If you want to have a six pack like Pastor Brian, yeah? You've got to do exercise. Amen. Ask Brother James, yeah? If you don't do exercise, you will not have six pack. 
you know, you have many tires here. Yes or no? Yes. True, yes? yes. So I decided upon myself that at this my age, I'm going to do exercise, yeah? I'm going to start to, I'm like, kids were laughing at me. But I'm okay. I was walking my ass at 20, and I began to have my two back, yeah? Hallelujah, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it wasn't the matter that it went. So physically, if you put on the effort and you get the result, oh, nobody's getting it, hallelujah. If you put the effort, you will get the result spiritually. Yeah. If you put the effort, you will get the results. Mm. So let's stop playing games. Let's shut our door and call upon our God. The reason why we are having so much evil, the reason why our homes, you know, The reason why so many Christians have not been able to affect their generation is because they have gone to sleep. Yeah. I'm going to rise up. I'm going to wake up. Take this hand and say, Father, my God. Tonight, I come to my call. Why don't you call upon me and get rid of your stuff? Why don't you just start changing your mind? I don't know what is me that you are crying out for. I don't know what it is that. Going to call upon the Lord God Almighty. They will hear me. Mm. I said to somebody yesterday, I said, this Christian world is not the decision that you make. Either you are going forward or you're going backwards. Did you hear me? Yeah? You can't say, I'm a Christian. Yeah, so I'm sitting here. Because if you don't attack the enemy and keep going forward, Go backwards. True of us. You are looking at me. <laughs> it's true. Because the, 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 the reality is that the way the Christian life is, you are always from God. Stand firm in the word of God. Declare the power of God in your working place everywhere you go. Once you sit down at home and you no longer pray and fasting, you do what? You go backwards. Ah. It's true. That's why you see people they don't come to church after a long time. Why? Because they sat down at home and they were going backwards. And that is why they can't pray no more. When they come to church on Sunday, they feel like a stranger. Why? Because they are going backwards. And that is why I want to challenge you tonight to take up the time, take up your the call of the word of God. Stand and pray. Declare over your family, over your home. Don't be scared to pray hard. Don't be scared to pray before you go to bed. Don't be scared to say, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my husband. I pray for my children. I pray for everyone around me. Don't be scared. On the offensive. Mm. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Maybe you are here tonight. And you feel that your life, you're not moving forward your Christian life. You feel that things are stationary. Tonight, God wants to take you to the higher level. He, he, he wants to lift you to where he wants you to be. What you're going to do tonight is be ready. Is be ready. Just before we pray tonight, I love to say this testimony because it shakes my heart. I love it so much. You know, friends, when we pray, yeah, listen to me, brother, yeah? There is prayer and there is prayer. Some prayer is God plus God and our center. Amen. I have prayed that we pass to say I pray. Mm. That's prayer. But I'm talking about entering into a deeper relationship with the Father. Where the Father can speak to you. Where you can speak to the Father. If you're not in a hurry to go and have your cup of tea or your spaghetti or your roast lamb, you're not in a hurry to have your nice cake. You are there waiting upon the Lord. You are lying to deliver you. To minister to you, you are lying to release, you are lying to shine his light upon you. Where, why they hurry? Someone hurry. Two minutes, Papa, we are ready to go. Like I said to somebody yesterday, in pastor's meeting, in women's meeting, it's called women's prayer breakfast, men's prayer breakfast. 
Yes, they do help. They eat and eat and drink and drink and they never pray. So tell me what about prayer breakfast is that? The same thing with us. We're going to be ready and spend time. The Christian that spends time with God is a Christian that overcomes the world. Oh, you did hear. Hallelujah. The man of God, the woman of God, the Christian that spends time with God is a Christian that overcomes the world. Tonight, you can be that Christian to overcome the world, to stand fair. Oh, I think I think I better stop. Very likely way. Hallelujah. 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 Let's start on our feet tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, I love it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight is your night. Hallelujah. 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 Pastor Claire, I want you to play that song for very Hallelujah. Tonight I want to challenge you tonight. I don't know where you're coming from, but if you are here tonight, you feel in your heart that there's a blocking in your spirit. You feel in your heart.